I can't believe we are already on the last day of another amazing year of ice cream flavors. This week is really one of my favorites and I love to hear from you guys all year long who are always excited to see what ice cream week is gonna be. You guys have given me some awesome flavor ideas too, so keep them coming because I can always make another ice cream. Today's is kind of over the top, so I think it is a great way to end the week. It is a milk chocolate brownie pretzel caramel ice cream. Okay, that's a lot of words, but each of those words is extremely important and so delicious. And really, this ice cream is just like any of the others, so believe me, it's really easy. To start, just put together in a heavy bottom kettle your milk, cream, sugar, corn syrup, and salt. Place that over medium high heat and then put together your milk and cornstarch for your cornstarch slurry. When your milk mixture comes up to a boil on the stove, let it boil for a few minutes and then remove it from the heat and slowly whisk in your cornstarch slurry. Place it back over the heat and whisk it until it is slightly thickened, just about another minute. Remove it from the heat and add in your vanilla like we do on all the ice creams, and some milk chocolate. This is just enough chocolate to give it a little bit of a flavor and really create a perfect base for all the add-ins. Just break the chocolate right up into the milk mixture and let it melt in and slowly whisk it as it's melting. Pour it into a large measuring cup, let it come to room temperature, then cover it and place it right into your fridge. Once it's chilled, and I like to do this at least eight hours, if not longer, Bring it out and pour it right into your freezer and freeze it according to your manufacturer's instructions. Mine takes about 20 to 25 minutes. And while it's freezing, I like to get all my add-ins ready. The first one is of course brownies. And if you need a brownie recipe, let me tell ya, make sure to look at my fudgy chocolate brownie recipe. It is so delicious and it's easy. Just chop up your brownies into small bite-sized pieces and I'm also gonna use caramel, and if you need a caramel recipe, thankfully I have one. So just follow the instructions. Homemade caramel is really easy and it is worth making, I promise. Have your caramel ready and some crushed up pretzels. Once your ice cream has frozen, remove it from the freezer and stir in all these amazing additions. That's really what makes this ice cream over the top. Once they're stirred in, just put it right into an airtight container. After you stir in all these, I find it to be a little bit soft again, so you wanna harden it again for about four to six hours, and then it is ready to enjoy. This has become one of my secret, favorite, go-to things to eat at night. It's one of those things that when you're kind of in the snacky mood, you just wanna go to your freezer and have the biggest indulgence, and this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed another ice cream week. And if you did, make sure to like this video and share it around on Facebook and Instagram. I love to hear from you guys, so make sure to subscribe to the channel. And until next year, I cannot wait to hear how you're loving the ice creams.